Okay, so I ran into a bit of a problem. These are about half an inch too big for my wall. Um, but this is how I plan on mounting my outlets and it's gonna protect us from fire problems down the road or shortages or any of that stuff. So these are important and I need them. So I need to shorten them and my plan is to cut them down and then add a firewall, a fire protection wall behind it. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some DIY stuff. I think it's going really well. We've got an outlet right there. We've got two outlets right there. And got an outlet right here. So that kind of covers all the bases, no matter where we decide to put anything. It's not gonna be like, ah, we don't have an outlet here. We will have an outlet close enough to power everything. So three outlets um, and a total of four plugs and yeah I, yeah that's all i can say all right so i got this plug done i left eight inches of usable wire coming out of this so that you know if i make a mistake I'm not, i don't have to take all this stuff out again it comes through here not bending too much or restricting any of the electrical flow this is 12 gauge wire so that gives us a little more versatility then 14 gauge comes down here, comes through the insulation, doesn't bend again very much at all, comes through this drill hole out through here, nice uh, amount of wire so it's not pulling on this or creating any pressure points, comes down here, under here, and around all the way under the wall to here. And then what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is drill a hole through this board all the way under the bus and then wrap this with some wire wrap and run it under the bus and then come back up here and then this space right there is going to be where all the power banks are batteries electrical stuff all that is going to be under our bed so yeah, the wire will just pop up on this side because it is the only plug on this side of the bus. And then I can plug it into whatever I have to plug it into. I don't know because I haven't thought ahead that far. Um, and then this side, we still haven't done, but we've got it all set up. One plug there, two plugs back there. So I'm just wiring everything up. Again, I chose 12 gauge wire because it's gonna give us a little more versatility and it's gonna be able to withstand a lot more electricity going through the wires, whereas uh, 14 gauge is gonna heat up a little bit more, is a thinner wire, so yeah, I just decided to go on the safe end. I think this whole roll, it's like 250 feet, um, cost me around $62, so it's a pretty good, pretty good deal.